Good evening, everyone. And thank you all so much for being here with us tonight. My name is Josh Whiteside, and I began my time with this amazing organization, the Education Partnership, in 2018 as Executive Director. Since 2009, the Education Partnership has distributed more than $44 million worth of school supplies and serving more than 350,000 students throughout Southwestern Pennsylvania. Amidst giving away those millions of dollars of school supplies, if it's one thing we've learned, it's what the single most effective school supply is. Does anyone want to take a stab at the single most effective school supply? Pencils. Pencil? Well, it's one of our number one cost drivers, but no. Crayon. Crayons? Ah, we can never give away enough crayons. Ma paper. We've given away more masks than we can count. What was that one in the back? Coffee paper. Oh, coffee, coffee paper from Kasim. Again, another big cost driver, but not the number one supply. Okay, anyway, it's a bit of a trick question. What we have learned is that the single most important school supply isn't something you buy in the store. It's an effective teacher. This is the reason why so much of the work that we put forth at the Education Partnership is in asking teachers what they need, how we can support them, and, then what they, and that when they're in our building, they're treated as heroes. Because they are. You are. Without you, no amount of pencils, crayons, clothing, hand sanitizer, copy paper would make a lick of difference. Yes, TEP gives away school supplies. But underneath that guise is our goal of helping create incredible teachers who are able to teach how they want with what they need for their specific students. So thank you teachers, both in person and all those worth watching online for being the number one school supply. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to thank our generous sponsors for tonight's award, who not only make this event possible, but so much of the work that the Education Partnership does uh, throughout the year. And first up, I'd like to thank Horizon Properties for providing this lovely event space that we're at, South Point Golf Club. And thank you for all of your hospitality and treating us so kindly here tonight. Next, I'd like to thank Lamar Advertising and Pitt Ohio Express, both for being key partners and supporters. Thank you both for your year-round partnership with us and sharing your expertise that is truly foundational to our operation here in Southwestern Pennsylvania. And thank you, Lamar, for all of the amazing billboards. Check these out. I don't know if you've been driving around the city lately, but these have been plastered all over. Uh, and they really help highlight not only this event, but throughout the year, a lot of the work that we do throughout the community. Other generous sponsors tonight include Highmark Whole Care, the Pittsburgh Pirates, Cohen, WPXI, Hayes Design Group Architects, Guardian Storage, the Port Authority of Allegheny County, Allegheny College, and last but not least, our friends at Lakeshore Learning who are going to be providing every winning teacher with a gift card to purchase their own new school supplies. Tonight, we are celebrating the truly amazing school staff that we work with in the region, and in particular, six incredible people in the field of education who have had a huge impact on their school, their students, and their community. The Teacher Appreciation Awards, or as we call them, the Teppies, was created in 2019 with a mission to recognize the excellence of the many outstanding educators and administrators who participate in the Education Partnerships programs. We focus attention on quality and exemplary educators. We increase public awareness of the importance of quality educators and provide tangible recognition of achievement earn their respect of colleagues, and enhance professional opportunities for educators of the Education Partnership. The mission of the awards hits really close to home for our staff and for our community. With half of our own staff coming to us from working as school employees, 
We know how important it is to value, celebrate, and honor educators tonight and every day throughout the year. While tonight's event is small as a precaution, we're so excited to be able to present our first in-person Tepe's Awards tonight. And we look forward in the future to being able to invite more people and more of the nominees to this event. So that our viewers watching at home and everyone here tonight uh, understands the process of getting here tonight uh, for our teachers. Every teacher had to be peer nominated in order to be eligible to win an award. And this past year at the Education Partnership, that was from a pool of 8,000 teachers. We had 100 teachers receive peer nominations. Next, all of the identifying information from those applications was removed and then a blind event committee reviewed and evaluated all of the heartfelt applications for each nominee. Those anonymous applications were then scored and the very best in each category was selected and put to a public vote. The races were very tight, but tonight's winners brought in more than 6,500 unique cast ballots. Something that I'm most excited about tonight is that you're going to get to hear from each of our distinguished winning educators as well. Every educator tonight is going to win, one, a certificate recognizing their achievement, a $50 gift certificate from Lakeshore Learning, a $200 Visa gift card made possible by our friends at Pitt, Ohio, the eternal glory of their name plaque being added to the Corliss Cup. Oh, it gets louder when I come over here. <laughs> If you've never seen the Corliss Cup, check that thing out. Uh, it's the Stanley Cup of Education. And then last but not least, uh, those Lamar billboards, after today, they're gonna convert over and they're gonna showcase the six winning educators and your faces are going to be highlighted throughout the Pittsburgh. Event. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to why we're all here. Let's give out some awards. So without further ado, let's move on to our first award of the evening. I invite Kiki Rice, Advancement Director, to present our first award. Thank you, Josh. We want to congratulate all the finalists of all of our awards. You are all truly exceptional and it was a close race. Thank you. Our other finalists were Renee Sunder, Pittsburgh Whittier K through five, Michaela Pavlinich, St. Stephen's Lutheran Academy, Leah Kutchbach, Propel Montour Middle School, Paula Dugan, Stowe Rocks High School, Shayna Patrick, the Bradley Center, Luke Walker, Class Academy, Lindsay Wagg, St. Stephen's Lutheran Academy, Cheryl Annette, East Allegheny Junior Senior High School, and Candy Morris, East Allegheny Junior Senior High School. You are all amazing and we celebrate and honor each of you. Thank you. Now let's begin with our elementary school teacher of the year. All elementary school teachers have done incredible work to keep their students ages four to 13 engaged in learning during difficult times. As a former elementary school counselor, I know how difficult and fun working with young students can be. The joys and challenges that teachers help students celebrate and overcome mold them into the future leaders of tomorrow. Our elementary school winner, Julie Erb, is an exceptional teacher and close friend of the Education Partnership. Anyone who meets Julie can see her love of teaching and passion for helping her students. Here's an excerpt from what one of Julie's eight nominators had to say. Julie's positive attitude, outgoing and fun personality, and willingness to create hands-on and exciting lessons, coupled with her passion for students, makes all the impact on the building staff and students. Julie loves her job. And it's obvious when you meet her that her utmost priority is her students. This year, I'm proud to announce that the winner of the 2022 Elementary School Teacher of the Year is Julie Erb from Martin Elementary in New Kensington. Please come.
haven't given a public speech in a very long time, <laughs> so bear with me. First, I'd like to thank the Education Partnership and sponsors for hosting this event and ceremony. Because of TEP's continued support and generosity in providing much needed supplies and resources, students and teachers like myself are able to be successful. The work that they do is so valuable and appreciated. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for instilling in me the importance of having pride in your community. They are always helping and giving selflessly to others. I'd like to thank the school community members and parents who nominated me for this award. You've touched my heart so much. A special thanks goes out to Kelly Altimos and Melissa Jacobs for always being those teacher friends who lift me up, support me, and always encourage me. A huge thank you goes out to all of my family, friends, and community members who voted for me to win this award. You all are amazing. To the new Kensington Arnold School District, I'd like to thank you for giving me a quality education and for allowing me to return to help future generations. Through hard work, courage, and perseverance, you've taught me anything is possible. To my Martin School family, I'd like to thank you for being so supportive and caring of each other and, and the students. I appreciate the strength, commitment, and uniqueness each and every one of you have possessed. Every school staff member from the custodians, the cafeteria ladies, the security guards, the teachers, and even the principal all contribute to making Martin a wonderful place to work and learn. To all of my students, past, present, and future, I hope you know that you are the reason I'm standing here tonight. Teaching each and every one of you has been so rewarding and fulfilling. I've celebrated each of your successes and encouraged you through each of your struggles. I will always consider you my kids, no matter how old you get or where you go in life, I am forever rooting for you. Last but not least, I'd like to thank Dory Smith for encouraging me to become a teacher and for being an amazing role model. I'd also like to thank Patricia Annarelli, Teresa Beebe, and Linda Bell for being incredible teachers and mentors in my life. You have each impacted my life in a positive and memorable way. I am truly grateful for this award. Thank you. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Malone. I am the Advancement Manager at the Education Partnership, and I am honored to present the Middle School Teacher of the Year Award. As a former middle school teacher myself, I know firsthand that middle school is a unique time and it takes a very special teacher to connect to this age. And when you do, magic happens in the classroom. Our winner tonight was able to achieve just this. Neil Lobig from Pittsburgh Morrow. According to his colleagues, Mr. Lobig's dedication to his students is phenomenal. His dedication to the school community is phenomenal. And lastly, his dedication to the needs of all around him is phenomenal. Whether it's a low bigs life lesson where he assists students with things that they really need in life, mentoring his coworkers by utilizing data to improve instruction, or being a friend to both students and staff, Mr. Lobig goes above and beyond to make Pittsburgh Morrow a better place. So congratulations to Neil Lobig from Pittsburgh Public Schools, Pittsburgh Morrow, our Middle School Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Neil was unable to be with us here in person this evening. So at this time, I would like to invite up our TEP program manager, Abby Marks, to uh, accept the award and to share a few words on Neil's behalf. Abby. Thank you all. Neil has wrote a few words and I would like to share them with you this evening. I am truly honored to be named Middle School Teacher of the Year and want to thank you for this recognition. This has been an extremely humbling experience and a great honor to have been chosen for this award. I am grateful to work with so many talented educators who have support, supported and inspired me along the way. This incredible honor doesn't belong to just me. It also belongs to my students and fellow faculty. 
I accept this award with the promise of dedicating myself and my knowledge to fulfilling the educational needs of Pittsburgh Public School students now and in the future. Thank you. Next up is our High School Teacher of the Year Award. And I'd like to start by congratulating all of the finalists in this category, as it was a very close race with lots of touching candidates. All of our TEP partner school teachers deserve an award for the hard work that they put in every day and are truly exceptional. Creating this award opportunity to tell teachers, thank you for going above and beyond in teaching students is a great reminder that it takes an entire community to create the best schools. For us at the Education Partnership, it's so important to recognize our high school teachers for the great work that they do. It's hard work, but mostly it's heart work in preparing students for college, career, and life. This year's High School Teacher of the Year is Mr. Craig Aguglia, and he's no stranger to the Education Partnership. Not only has he been an exceptional social studies teacher at Pittsburgh Brashear High School for 12 years, but he's also a longtime volunteer with our programs having clocked over 300 hours of his own time at the Education Partnership. His own students say, I love how thoughtful Mr. A is and he's always thinking about his students. His colleagues shared with us, his impact on both staff and students is seen every day at Brashear. From the backpacks, jackets, and hats that the students wear, to the posters, copy paper, and pencils distributed by teachers. Craig is an exceptional teacher. Congratulations to the High School Teacher of the Year and a dear friend of TEP, Craig Aguglia from Pittsburgh Brashear High School. <laughs> Craig was also unable to join us in person here today, uh, but he does have some words that he'd like to share with the group. So at this time, I'd like to invite Kasim Jululi, Operations Director at the Education Partnership, to accept the award on his behalf and share those words. Kasim. Uh, Craig wanted everyone to know how grateful and honored he is uh, and wishes he could be here in person to accept the award. Um, he says, I'm very honored and humbled to have received this award from the Education Partnership. It means so much to me that not only my students, but my colleagues feel the work I do with the Education Partnership is life-changing for our students. I have the pleasure to work with students every day who need to see that people really do care for them. The Education Partnership has given me the opportunity to show these students and their families that not only do I care about their education, but also for their well-being. Also, I have built some wonderful relationships with the staff of the Education Partnership, the people who go above and beyond every day to make the lives of educators and students so much better. Thank you. Okay. For anybody watching virtually tonight, that's a nice segue. I would like you to invite you all to also support the Education Partnership in any way that you feel comfortable by visiting www.theeducationpartnership.org. There's information on volunteering, collecting and donating school or office supplies, and of course, making a donation online. Thanks to WPXI, one of our sponsors here tonight, all of the do donations that are made online have no fees attached to them and the full amount goes to the Education Partnership. We're able to support a student with everything that they need for the school year on $25, thanks to our incredible partners and donated materials. Now, before we move on to our last three awards, I'd like to take a moment to honor all of our partner schools retiring teachers, principals, and school staff. We know how hard you've all worked throughout your careers and your years of service are appreciated and we're honored for the wisdom that you've shared with your peers and with your schools. 
We thank you for all you've done for our students. If at this time, we could give all of our retiring school employees watching at home a round of applause. Thank you. I'd like now to invite back up to the podium, Miss Kiki Rice. Teachers have risen to the challenge and continue providing students with academic, social, and emotional support they need to be successful now and in the future. They are highly skilled, passionate, and determined individuals who we are honored to recognize and celebrate. We're excited to be able to capture the passion, creativity, and innovation of our region's next generation of teachers, including tonight's Rookie Teacher of the Year, Jensen Worley. The Rookie Teacher of the Year is special in her own way. Jensen began teaching during one of the most difficult years of teaching in modern history. She faced great odds and supported her students as she took on her new career in education. She's an incredible teacher and we look forward to her long career ahead. Here's an excerpt from what Jensen's nominator had to say. Miss Worley is without a doubt, just in her first year, one of the top three special education teachers I've ever worked with in my career. She builds rapport with students of all ages in the building, not just the students she teaches. Miss Worley is constantly recognizing the strengths of students and praising them for, the, for what they are doing well. She has gone above and beyond all school year. Her ability to interact with students, staff, and parents is phenomenal. She is truly a top-notch special education teacher who comes to work every day to do what's best for kids. Please welcome to the podium, Jensen Worley, our 2022 Rookie Teacher of the Year. Thank you. You're welcome. You earned it. Oh, thanks. Let's get a photo. A oh, okay. I won't lie, I don't have anything prepared. Love might it. be might be a rookie mistake, but um, <laughs> what I can say is thank you to the sponsors. Thank you, Education Partnership. I know I haven't gotten the opportunity to work with you guys long, but a lot of my staff has, and I see a lot of you guys have too, and you do amazing things for our kids every day. Um, thank you to my Center Avenue family. Thank you to my mom, my grandma, my stepmom back there for pushing me to be the best person that I can be. and. Thank you to all the educators who are here, who are elsewhere that have made me want to come into this field. I know you guys have had it really hard with COVID. Um, this is all I've ever known coming in teaching as a young teacher, but um, it's people like you who made me want to become an educator. So thank you guys for all you do. teachers are just absolutely amazing. However, TEP does not just support our teachers. We're also here to help our counselors, our school nurses, our janitors, and all the other school employees who make such a positive impact at our partner schools each and every day. This is why we decided this year to create a new category, our Outstanding Non-Instructional Staff of the Year. Our nominees really came from all different diverse positions within our schools. As I said, we had counselors, we had school nurses, janitors, front office staff, security staff, cafeteria workers, and paraprofessionals. And even though we call this category the Outstanding Non-Instructional Staff of the Year, uh, the winner tonight is a paraprofessional who really has proven that they are a vital member of their instructional team and they make a difference in the lives of their students each and every day. Maria Vonda from South Hills Middle School is a paraprofessional working in a special, special education classroom, and she does so much for her school and her community. Her colleagues say she works hard, harder, uh, harder than most and never gives up. She is set to graduate with a 4.0 grade point average from her master's degree program, 
and is a major fundraiser and supporter of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, raising over $100,000 for the nonprofit. The students love her and look to her for comfort, support, and constant positive reinforcement. Students she does not even work with have been impacted by her kindness and willingness to take the time to get to know them. She cares about every student in her building and goes above and beyond to make sure they are doing well in school. Her humor and her positivity make school fun for both students and staff. So please welcome to the podium, Ms. Maria Vondas, the outstanding non-instructional staff of the year from Pittsburgh South. <laughs> down here? <laughs> they didn't bring me a booster seat or a step stool, I'm sorry. So speaking in front of students is very different than speaking in front of adults. A little nervous, but I am honored to be here this evening. Very honored for everybody's votes, their support, um, education partnership, just amazing, life-changing for my students. I work at a high needs school with kids who come to school to eat, to sleep, for food and just to be loved. So when they come in and I can give them markers, it makes their day. It's Christmas. One of my students actually said, you went to the partnership yesterday, what do you have? Markers. It's like Christmas morning. They were so excited. I also got yarn from the partnership and the students collaborated together to make gifts for teachers. They taught each other how to crochet, making gifts for each other, they made friends, lasting friends forever. And that's something that the partnership provided. So I wanna thank the partnership, the sponsors, my family, my colleagues at South Hills Middle. They're all amazing. I'm so blessed to be here. Thank you so much. Now for our final award of the evening. The influence of a good principal can never be erased. And we'd be remiss if we left out the administrative division of our schools who play just as crucial, or crucial a role as the teachers. Now for our principal of the year award. All great schools need encouraging and inspiring school leaders. The principal's role is complex. Strong principals affirm the good teachers and staff in their buildings. They challenge everyone to be their best, and they support teachers when they take risks in the best interests of their students. Good principals demonstrate the gift of leadership in their school community and work tirelessly to build student success. This last award is to celebrate school principals who dedicate their lives to giving youth the education that they need to succeed. Their commitment to their teachers and students has inspired a new generation to think, learn, and thrive in our world today. And we're proud to celebrate them tonight. Tonight's, win tonight's winner is a shining example of leadership, support, and dedication. Dr. Pat Marchand has been at the principal at Kiskey Area East Primary Elementary School since 2008 coming up on 15 years. We'll have to fact check that after I uh, read the Trib article. But clearly, his staff speaks highly of him and his outstanding work with students, parents, and teachers. They say his relationship with students and the way he bends to meet them at eye level, he greets students by using their names, and he is a kind person to everyone. He keeps rolling, he smiles and sets a great example of interacting with everyone. Students, parents, teachers, and visitors. He makes an impact every day. Congratulations to Dr. Pat Marchand, Kiskey Area East Primary, for being our 2022 Principal of the Year.
Let's do one more. Wow. Um, captive audience, most like a faculty meeting. <laughs> um, one thing I learned about faculty meetings, uh, when it's the end, you never make a long speech, so I promise I won't do that. <laughs> um, so a couple things I, I, I would like to say. Thank you to the partnership. Uh, we've been involved with them for many years now. You do amazing things for kids uh, and for adults. Um, I'd like to congratulate, congratulate again everyone in the audience who's our winners. Uh, you know, being in the trenches with the kids every day, uh, it's just, uh, it's an amazing job. You know, I, I, I tell my folks, sometimes you are the best eight hours of a kid's day. And, you know, that's, a, that's something that you should not take lightly. Um, I would certainly like to thank my family uh, for all the love and support over the years. This is my 33rd year, so it's, it's been a while. Um, you know, the one thing I said upon winning the award is uh, when you surround yourself with great people, good things happen. I, I have a tremendous, tremendous staff at my building. I have tremendous parents. And, uh, you know, last but certainly not least, I have tremendous, tremendous kids there. And uh, it, it's truly an honor to receive this award. And it's truly an honor to be the principal there. So thank you. Awesome night of highlighting educational excellence in Southwestern PA. Again, a shout out to all of our amazing sponsors, Horizon Properties, WPXI, Pitt, Ohio, Highmark Cold Care, the Port Authority of Allegheny County, the Pittsburgh Pirates, Cohen, Hayes Design Group, Guardian Storage, Lamar Advertising, Lakeshore Learning, in Allegheny College. And we'd also like to thank some individuals who made this event possible. Mary Beth Terman Brown from Horizon Properties plays a key role every time we come to this beautiful space. And Rebecca Frankel, also with South Point Golf Club, who makes this event possible. And I'd also like to commend all of the hardworking staff here at South Point Golf Club for always just being the penultimate uh, host here. I'd like to thank the Education Partnerships Board of Directors, including Mr. Taki Durakos, who's here tonight and who was a member on the Award Selection Committee as well. I'd like to thank all of the Education Partnership staff who have helped uh, not only uh, just here today, but also leading up to the event. It's great to see you all here. Uh, thank you all for what you do. And two in particular, uh, Miss Elizabeth Malone and Miss Kiki Rice. Without you two, this event absolutely does not happen. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you to everyone who participated in the nominations, in the voting. We had over 100 candidates nominated and over 6,500 votes. I'd like to thank our community partners who are with us here today, including Communitopia and the Farina Foundation. Nice to meet you, Raina. <laughs> and to all of our amazing teachers in schools, have a wonderful summer break. We look forward to seeing you after the summer for July shopping. And now we're gonna sign off our live stream, but before we do, please continue to support the amazing work for our local schools and donate today. You can go to the educationpartnership.org to learn more about all the different ways to help. To all of our guests here at South Point Golf Club, this is the end of our presentation.